Carbohydrates are the most abundant organic molecules in nature. They are primarily composed of the elements carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. Today we will talk about basics of carbohydrates. Let's understand what carbohydrates basically are. The name carbohydrates literally means hydrates of carbon. Some carbohydrates satisfy the general formula CH2ON where N is less than or equal to 3. Carbohydrates cannot always be considered as hydrates of carbon because several non-carbohydrate compounds such as acetic acid having formula C2H4O2 and lactic acid having formula C3H6O3 which also appear as hydrates of carbon and some of the genuine hydrocarbons such as ramnohexose having formula C6H12O5 and deoxyribose having formula C5H10O4 do not satisfy the general formula. Carbohydrates may be defined as polyhydroxy aldehydes or ketones or compounds which produce them on hydrolysis. The term sugar is applied to carbohydrates soluble in water and sweet to taste. Now let's take a look on some of the important functions of carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are the most abundant dietary source of energy for all organisms. About 4 calories per gram of energy is yielded. Carbohydrates are the precursors for many organic compounds. These organic compounds include fats and amino acids. Carbohydrates participate in the structure of cell membrane and cellular functions such as cell growth, adhesion and fertilization. These carbohydrates include glycoproteins, and glycolipids. They are the structural components of many organisms. These include the fiber of plants that is cellulose, exoskeleton of some insects and cell wall of microorganisms. Carbohydrates also serve as the storage form of energy to meet the immediate energy demands of the body. This storage form of energy is glycogen. Glycogen is a polymer of glucose where glucose molecules are joined together by alpha-1,4 glycosidic bonds. It is present in high concentration in liver followed by muscle and brain. Glycogen is also found in plants that do not possess chlorophyll that is yeast and fungi. Now let's talk about the classification of carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are also referred as saccharides. They are broadly classified into three major groups monosaccharides, oligosaccharides and polysaccharides. First, let's talk about monosaccharides. Monosaccharides are the simplest group of carbohydrates. They have a general formula CNH2ON and they cannot be further hydrolyzed. Monosaccharides are further divided into different categories based on the functional group and the number of carbon atoms. Number 1 Aldoses When the functional group in monosaccharides is an aldehyde, it is called aldoses. An example of aldoses is glyceraldehyde. The structure of glyceraldehyde is
and the second category is ketosis. When the functional group is a keto group, it is called ketosis. An example of ketosis is dihydroxyacetone phosphate. The structure of dihydroxyacetone phosphate is Dihydroxyacetone phosphate is found in cells as phosphate and its one phosphate is an intermediate in glycolysis. Some of the simple monosaccharides are glucose, fructose and galactose. The next is oligosaccharides. Oligosaccharides contain 2 to 10 monosaccharide molecules which are liberated on hydrolysis. Based on the number of monosaccharide units present, the oligosaccharides are further subdivided into disaccharides, trisaccharides, etc. Let's talk about some of the disaccharides. Disaccharide is the carbohydrate which is formed on the condensation of two monosaccharides. Some of the examples of disaccharides are sucrose. In sucrose, it is made up of alpha D glucose and beta D fructose. The two monosaccharides are held together by a glycosidic bond between C1 of alpha glucose and C2 of beta fructose. It occurs as a constituent of cane sugar and beet sugar. Sucrose is most commonly used table sugar supplying calories. The next example of oligosaccharide is Lactose Lactose is a disaccharide composed of beta D galactose and beta D glucose held together by beta 1 4 glycosidic bonds. Lactose occurs as a milk sugar. It is an exclusive carbohydrate source to breastfed infants. Lactase deficiency, which is often called lactose intolerance, leads to diarrhea and flatulence. The next group is polysaccharides. Polysaccharides are polymers of monosaccharide units with high molecular weights. Up to a million. They are usually tasteless and form colloids. The polysaccharides are of two types homopolysaccharides and heteropolysaccharides. If you like this video, please subscribe and leave a comment for queries and suggestions. Thank you.